Good morning, folks. I am out today on Monument Lake in Colorado, a local lake where I like to take my kids fishing. And I'm gonna show you, when you come out here as maybe a new ice fishing angler, somebody that has no experience, how you can come out and catch fish with your kids or yourself and what sort of action you need to take in order to find the fish and start putting them on the ice. So let's get right into this video and hopefully you learn a few things. And I got one, fish on. There we go, baby. I caught him right under the top of the ice. Gave him a little bit of a slack line and he said, thank you very much. Absolutely gorgeous. Look at the coloring on that fish. Absolutely gorgeous fish. All right, so we're out here fishing and I just wanted to give some tips for, you know, newbies into ice fishing or if you're, you're trying to find fish on a lake and you're not able to get your kids into fish or you're just trying to catch something. Um, just about any lake in Colorado that I know, um, and this applies to a lot of areas, you're going to have a lot more fish that are going to be closer to the shore. Um, so some of those lakes, that means you're two, three feet off the shore. Um, some of them are a little bit more flat like the one we're on today and we can stay off of the shore by 20 feet or so and still be in that ideal depth range. But um, it's a lot shallower than you think. So we're talking like the most fish are gonna be caught between four foot and eight foot probably. Um, those smaller pan fish, smaller rainbow trout, maybe not the pike or the big rainbows you're looking for or walleye, um, but you're always able to kind of take some shallow water approach uh, to starting out ice fishing and usually get a couple bites. Here in Colorado, if you are above 7,000 feet, you cannot use minnows. So Monument here, I think, sits just below, like maybe 6,800. We don't have minnows today. Um, but on these lakes, you can use minnows. Um, but if you're on, oh, here we go, we got a fish here. There we go, right on. So kind of what I was explaining is you're gonna end up with maybe a smaller size fish, but you're gonna get more bites as you move more shallow. Josh is using just a little trout tube. Um, he caught this little rainbow trout and that's about the size that you probably catch a little bit more in the shallow. Um, we'll let this guy go and we can explain a little bit more. All right, so another key piece of advice I can give for newer, younger anglers when you're ice fishing is getting right up on structure. So. This is a pier that's kind of crossing the lake here to give access. And we're in what, is it five feet deep here? Four or five feet deep. We live scoped from just outside and kind of looked back at this structure. And there's a bunch of fish that are sitting underneath the um, chain. There's a bunch that are just right under the ice and they'll be hanging out pretty close to this structure. Boat ramps are also great dams are great but if you think about uh, the lake in terms of structure um, you're going to find the fish fish are very predictable in the terms of uh, where they like to live and it's no different under the ice than it is during the the regular open water season they're looking for cover there are still predators in the water and they know that they can seek refuge under this dock so it's a great spot to get uh, your buddy or your kids so that they've got more opportunity to catch fish up close here so in terms of tackle uh, for ice fishing, you're gonna want some ice jigs. So I've got a whole box here full of different ice jigs. Something that's small, these rat finkies are really great. Um, that's actually the name of them. These are tungsten jigs right here. Um, you have some like bladed or spaded um, jigs. And then I even have some like egg looking patterns down here. Um, but the name of the game is small. And then what you wanna do is you wanna tip those with a wax worm. And you can buy these at PetSmart you can buy them at Cabela's, um, but a wax worm is just a little tiny caterpillar looking bug. They're very soft and you just hook them onto the end of your hook as a little bit of a treat. And uh, you're gonna be hooking into lots of rainbows and, and perch and a bunch of panfish species as well. So that's kind of the rigs. We're using very light, small rods. These are uh, St. Croix black ice rods and then our uh, legend blacks i should say and then the reel is a is a black ice uh abo garcia ice max reel 
Um, so just really light setups for these small fish up, up shallow. And then you're just kind of playing with them, right? You want to try to get ahead of them, uh, drop the, the jig past it, and then come back up above it. Um, just kind of play around and see what the fish are liking, and you'll hook up into a lot of stuff. So that's generally the setup uh, for getting out and catching fish if you're brand new to the sport. Josh just got into this little rainbow trout here. Zoom in on him for you. Nice little fish. Josh said he caught that one by just kind of dropping the jig just below the ice level. Um, but this is an example of just how you can get, you know, an individual out here, give them a rod, use a little bit of wax worms, and you're able to uh, get fish topside pretty quickly. We're not that deep. We're in about 10 feet of water um, and we're hooking up. So it's definitely not too intimidating. You can make it happen with some, uh, you know, novice kids or, or just individuals that haven't fished much and get out here and catch fish right away. We're gonna let this fish go and uh, get after some more. Nice catch. Alrighty, Josh just got into this little rainbow here. What'd you catch him on? Oh, a couple of worms. A little wax worm and a uh, trout tube. Yep. Nice, very cool. And we're still right up on this dock. So um, had lots of lookers, not a ton of takers, but finally got it done here, eh? Back in the hole she goes. Nice, good catch. All right, so after a wonderful day here, um, I hope that gave you some insight as to how to fish with new ice fishermen, with kids, um, where to go, what to use. Um, so again, remember wax worms, uh, small tiny jigs, find the structure, could be a pier, could be a boat ramp, or it could just be four to eight feet of water. Get it closer to shore. Stop trying to go after the big stuff. Get your kids excited about catching fish. And that can be done about that four to eight foot range. And then go drill yourself a hole, you know, 30 feet deep and go drop a tip up in there. Um, whatever it may be, uh, get, get people a little bit excited about making a catch through the ice. And you can do that by targeting smaller fish closer to shore. Um, so that's, that's my tips for learning how to ice fish as a new fisherman. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any questions or comments, leave them down below. And we will see you guys next time on another episode of Catching Colorado. Thanks for watching the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you're interested in more relatable content, you can check out these videos right here. Oh, and don't forget to like and subscribe down below so you can stay updated on our next adventures.